I got you now. I got you now. <laughs> okay. Woo! All right. Yeah! I beat you. I did it. I can't believe I finally beat the game. Hey, what's happening to me? <laughs> Morning, students. It's that time of the month again. Don't forget to load your Galaxy High cafeteria card with space food credits. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Where some people see a crowd, I see an audience. And may I have your attention, please? I have a real treat for you. A show-and-tell dance piece written, directed, and choreographed by moi. It's called Two Unicorns Dream of Rainbows. When a unicorn sleeps, what does she dream of? Coconut stars, a candy cane, a forest where it never rains. Hey, that's not a garbage can, that's my tip bucket. And, um, remember folks, please give generously. What does the unicorn dream of? Is it a rainbow that never disappears? Will the sun shed a tear? In the sky flies a dove. What does it look like, this thing called? Love. Thanks. I know what this unicorn is going to dream about tonight. I have to find out who that hottest hottie under the sun is. Hey, Yoko, what are you doing on the table? Earth calling space cadet Yoko. <sighs> he must realize that we're kindred artistic spirits. He gave me a special invitation to his recital. It's called a flyer, and Seth gave him to us, too. Oh, so his name is Seth? Yeah, he's a new student. He seems really cool. Yeah, except for this weird recital thing. Come on, Josh. These recitals are usually really instructional and quite a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, right. My idea of fun is where we're going now. You should come with us, Yoko. We're going to this new super entertainment complex. It's got the most challenging video games in the universe. Oh, I've got to figure out a way to get better acquainted with Seth. I'm not interested in this boy stuff. Well, you better get interested. I've heard that Seth's a big-time gamer. Maybe he'll be at the complex? So, what are we waiting for? <laughs> Control Tower, we're requesting immediate clearance for takeoff. Please state the nature of your journey. Well, it's an emergency. We have to, uh... Study the effects of space-borne simulators on the central nervous system of adolescents. What did all that mean? It means that we're gonna play video games. Okay, for mission. Oh, sweet! Three, two, one... Planet Good Times, here we come! If this is a dream, don't pinch me. I don't ever want to wake up. No, oh, but there's no sign of Seth anywhere. You better be right about him liking games. No offense, but if he does come, it won't be to watch your unicorn dance. Oh, Joshy, you just don't understand artists like Seth and I. For us, it's all about the creative soul. Uh-huh, and for gamers like Seth and I, it's all about racking up the points. People come from all over the galaxy to try and defeat the games here, but nobody's ever officially beaten one. Oh, that sounds like a challenge. I never met an action game I couldn't beat. And I've never met a puzzle game that I couldn't master in a few minutes. Let's see where the game programmers missed up this time. <sighs> Might as well play something. At least one is close to the door, I'll be able to see Seth the second he comes in. <laughs> a spaceship flying simulator? How easy can you get? Time to put up a new high score. Give it up now, Maggie. You clearly do not have what it takes to be Colonel Assault. <laughs> you call that shooting? You better put on your glasses, Junior. <laughs> now it's on. Try this out for size, Colonel Big Mouth. Where did he learn to fly like that? Back to boot camp for you, dirtball! Oh! Game over. This game is tougher than I thought. Mm. 
Whoa, I didn't see that move coming. A mile away. <laughs> there is absolutely no way that you could defeat Codex playing like that. Excuse me, but could you keep it down? I'm finding it very hard to concentrate. Now that's the type of move I'd expect. Have my mental midget. <laughs> oh man, this isn't good. Quite the contrary, it is good. For me, your prism is about to get crystallized. I love a good challenge. Call me when you're ready to give me one. <laughs> Game over. Not bad for a computer. Looks like I'm gonna have to try a new strategy. do is match her dance steps and fill up that applause meter? How hard can it be? Yo, you better check yourself before you wreck yourself because ain't nobody can keep up with left preparing for his informative recital. Oh, speaking of which, we better get back to Galaxy High. The recital is the perfect chance to get me noticed. Uh, I thought these games were the toughest in the universe. How'd you guys do? Uh, obviously my brain didn't have time to adjust to the low humidity of this planet. Uh, yeah, I think there might have been some loose wires in my controller which slowed me down. thinking of weaseling in a performance of your own, are you? Ooh, not a bad idea, but no. Seth seems like a guy who'd prefer a sophisticated girl. I've got to dress the part. How would you know what he likes? Have you even spoken to this boy? Oh, Brett, my dear young and innocent friend, some feelings transcend simple words. They're like poems. Oh, and speaking of poems, what do you think of this haiku I wrote for him? My name is Yoko. Why don't monkeys eat more cheese? Are you free on Friday? Yes. Welcome, students. Have we got a rare and special honor for you tonight? Oh, oh. <laughs> Whoa. Seth is sure to notice Yoko now. So, is he here yet? No, but you're just in time. This recital features classical songs from the Vesper on Galaxy. Should be really exciting. Oh, boy, I can hardly wait for it to start. Wake me up when it's over. Ladies! Oh, oh look, there he is! Aliens of the Galaxy! I give you the soothing sounds of Seth. Ooh, it's so cute! <laughs> to be together. We both speak the language of art. <sighs> Maybe if I get closer. 
closer Seth will notice me. Excuse me, soulmate coming oh, through. Yeah. Excuse me. Oh, pardon me. Now I, I just want to go. Psst, over here. Did you miss me? Oh, wait! Weren't you crushed by a piano after I beat you? But more importantly, how did you get out of that video game? There's no way you're gonna beat left foot twice in one day! Okay, two things. Number one, referring to yourself in the third person is so played out. Number two, it was just a game. Quiet! Sorry! Not yet, but you will be. <laughs> Those shoes are stylish but dangerous. I better keep them glued to the ground. You should have stayed in your game. Obviously, you can't handle the real world. Yeah, right. Nobody keeps it real like left foot. This moves straight from the hood. Oh, Yoko, please keep it down in there. I don't end this quickly and quietly. It's time to face the music. <laughs> I can't believe my favorite student is ruining this recital. This is so unlike her. Yoko, could you please explain what the problem is? <laughs> It seems that your teammate is missing. And by the looks of this hallway, I'd say she's in a bit of trouble. Hey, this wasn't part of Yoko's sophisticated outfit. That looks really familiar. Where did we see it before? <laughs> what is going on here? Well, either a giant pink furry caterpillar has swallowed Yoko, or we'd better get back to Planet Good Times in a hurry. All right, Lightfoot. What do you want from me? Dance lessons? Because, um, honestly, I don't think rhythm is something that can be taught. You want the lowdown? Left Foot is going to dominate the entire video game universe by having games that are impossible to defeat. So it's not good for my business when someone manages to beat one of them. Why are you the trouble of bringing me here? I mean, it would have been easier just to ban me. I keep my games difficult by stocking them with the best players. And since you're the best at this one, your new crib is going to be inside it. <laughs> And what makes you think I'm gonna dance in your game? What makes you think you got a choice? So, what are you looking at, fool? <laughs> Yoko has to be around here somewhere. Josh, take a look at this! Whoa! They animated Yoko and put her in a video game! No, I think that's really her! Those are the earrings she wore to the recital! Somehow she's been sent into the game! Back off, geeks! What's your damage? Whoa, easy, Yoko. We're here to help. Oh, yeah? Like I'm gonna be needing help from you, fashion failures? Seriously, you get a mirror! There must have been something in the transformation process that overrode her personality and turned her evil! Oh, poor Yoko, this must be like a nightmare for her! How are we gonna get her out of there? Oh, well, welcome to my nightmare, boys! Let's make things interesting and see if you got what it takes to keep up with me! If you beat me, I'll go back with you! But if I win, all of you will come into the game and serve as my backup dancers! Forever! Uh, since I have no idea how to get her out and there's no one around to witness this, I say we do it. Come on, Josh, I can't dance. Well, neither can I, but maybe I can keep Yoko busy long enough for you to hack into the arcade's mainframe. It's on. <laughs> Fresh on the scene, get ready to be creamed by the most awesome dancer you've ever seen. You got no chance, you're just a scary pants. Give it up, Mega Loser, Yoko's gonna send you back to your space cruiser. <laughs> just when I thought her songs couldn't get any worse. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just have to 
have to narrow the conversion to try to reverse the metamorphosis. In other words, just keep dancing. <laughs> Where'd that come from, Fluffy? Yoko's gonna be okay, right? Yoko, are you here? Oh, I think it's me and not the fakey me. And I've got Miss Large and in charge in custody. Let's call Galaxy High and have them send somebody to pick up this drama queen. Whatever. It's not over yet. Watch out, Yoko! Oh, chill out, guys. Meet Marvin and Herb. Their evil days are over. I'm sorry for all the trouble we caused you. Once we were sent into the game, we had no control over what we were doing. Ah, oh, don't worry. It wasn't your fault. I gotta say, though, Marvin, you sure know how to fly. And Herb, I I'd like a rematch. I think I figured out a way to beat you. No, thanks. I'm never going near a video game again. Oh, I can't believe my plans were ruined by you posers. Oh, believe it, girlfriend. Defender number two on approach, clear for landing. I wish I could get Seth to notice me without messing up. Listen, Yoko, you're making way too big a deal of this. All you have to do is go over there, say hi, and just be yourself. You're right. And since Seth is also a performer, he's gonna love my show and tell Dan's number. Uh, you mean the one about the unicorn? <laughs> I'm not sure that's a good idea. Yoko, wait! Whoa. Hi, I'm Yoko, and this is Do Unicorns Dream of Rainbows? When unicorns sleep, what do they dream of? Where do the colors go when it snows? Oh, oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. Uh, wait, where are you going? I haven't finished yet. Wait, you're gonna miss the best part. Wait, come back. Uh, in Yoko 
Joe's case, maybe being yourself isn't the best advice. <laughs>